Today I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this Living Color uh, desk touch lamp. So it's an LED lamp um, and uh, it's perfect size for your desk and things like that and offers quite a bit of light. Now I've reviewed a couple of lights that are similar to this and this is definitely the largest. Okay, so here it is. Um, mostly they're a little bit shorter and smaller. Um, this one is just very large, gives off more light, and um, it is just a bigger lamp than some of the others that I've reviewed. Okay, now one thing with this one is um, I have reviewed similar ones that all have a um, rechargeable battery built in, so you don't need to have it plugged in. You just charge it when the battery is low. This one doesn't have a rechargeable battery, so it actually needs to be plugged in to operate. So here's your plug, and it just plugs in here at the back. Now, as you can see, um, that's not a charging cable. That's just a power cable, so I can't turn it on when it's not plugged in. So let's turn it on. First, let's just give you an overall look. Um, this is a pretty heavy supported base. It's definitely not falling over. Um, and then there are one, two, three, four, five little grips here at the bottom um, that just sit firmly where you put them. And they're kind of non-slip, like it just, it won't slide around super easily or anything like that. So it's got a nice steady hold there. Now this neck is adjustable and flexible. Here's your large section where your light comes out. So you can twist it and turn it to whatever angle you want. Um, I love these lamps that have the really flexible uh, necks here. And this is a really thick one. Most are more thin and things like that. This is just solid and flexible. Where you move it to, it stays. Um, and it's just really nicely built there. Okay, so let me back up my camera a little bit so you can see. Um, the cool thing about this one is that uh, it's all just by touch. Okay, so you have three different levels. There's one, two, and three. Um, so it's significant. Um, my camera just had to adjust to the light on this one, but it's significant brightness. Um, this would be a great one for your desk or even a bedside table lamp. Um, you could put this really anywhere in your house that you're looking for some extra light because it does give off some pretty significant light. You just need to put place it somewhere that you're close to an outlet and you can plug in just like a typical lamp rather than being one that's got a built-in battery. Okay, and then the third touch turns it off. Now that touch button is really great. A lot of times with lamps that have touch buttons, they'll have like an on-off switch in the back so you can't accidentally turn it on or something like that. Um, this one doesn't. I feel like since it's plugged in, you're not really carrying it around and things like that where you'd be accidentally turning it off. Um, and the button is in the spot where it's, it's pretty intentional. You would be reaching to turn that on. So I don't think that you need an additional switch. That is definitely sufficient. Okay, now in addition to this light that you've got up here, um, which offers a nice bright light and at three different levels and settings for you. You also have a light up section at the base that is color changing. Now you may have noticed the, all the different colors here. And actually, so there's a power button that's on off right here. There's also a power button here at the bottom on that blue section that you can press to turn on. And it may be difficult to see if my light's on, so let's adjust here. Okay, and when you turn it on, then just this base lights up. And then you can go through and select different colors. So, these are kind of bright, vivid colors that unfortunately, with the lighting on my camera, you really can't, you really can't see the different shades. Hopefully I'll get some good pictures that can show it. Um, and there are definitely product pictures that will show this as well if you're looking at the product link. Um, but this is a red, it's hard for you to see, a green, yellow, and you can actually put your finger here and kind of track around and it will change colors to wherever you're going. So you can go through this whole color spectrum here and just, you know, keep touching to slightly adjust it and move into the different colors. There's red, purple, lighter shades, it's kind of a whitish blue, and moving down to your darker blue colors down here which I apologize, you just can see light on the bottom. But I'll take some pictures. So it's kind of nice, you can take your finger and swipe through to change the colors, and that really works. You kind of have to go a little bit slower to go through all those colors. Or you can just individually go through and tap with your finger. Or you can turn it off. So the great thing with this is, if you don't want a bright color down here, you just want your light on, well then you can just have that plain light on there. Um, without having this base on. So it is your option to turn this base on and off. 
and you can have them both on at the same time. So if I wanted to have a yellow base right here and a light at the top, I can do that or I can choose to turn this off. So it gives you an extra little light down here and you can make it whatever color you want. So you can change that. Um, if there's one color that you just like all the time, you can put the green on. And then when you turn it on, it does turn on to the color that you've left it at. Let me turn this off here for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna select red and I'll turn that off. When I turn it back on, it's on that red. So if you have one color that that's just what you want it on all the time, you can definitely turn this on and off and leave it right there at the perfect shade that you've selected. Kind of see it, the color a little bit when you first turn it on. Okay, um, or you can go through and select. So if you wanted to change and put on a specific color, like for a holiday, you want it to be red or green for Christmas, you can do that. Um, and you can just adjust as you need to. It's got a kind of bright, cheerful little yellow there. Um, and you can, change as much as you want to, or if you want to have that light off altogether, you can. So obviously you can have the desk lamp off, and if you want just this glowing in the background on your bedside table, you want to have it as being a little night light and keeping it on all night with just a little glow down here, you can just turn off that main light and just keep that on on the base. So I like that they are two separate switches. So you don't have to use both at the same time. You don't have to have the different color changing options on here, and you can use one by itself, or the other one by itself, or use both of them together if you'd like. So I think it's a really good idea with this lamp. Um, you definitely get a lot of brightness with it, and um, I love the nice touch screen. It's not like too touchy, but you know you need to use an intentional touch to turn it on. But it works well. Three different light levels there. Okay, and then this one. So I like, like I said, that they have two different power switches that you can use on and off. It would be kind of cool if you could use this without it being plugged in, if it had a rechargeable battery section in there. But being one that's plugged into a power source, um, it is, it's just larger, it can do more, and you can have on two separate lights with this at the same time. So that actually doesn't bother me with this larger one that's just plugged in like a typical standard lamp would be. Um, because it's really just larger in size and brighter, but you still get that swivel neck that you can turn around. It's a great one if you wanted to have on a desk in your kid's room that they can kind of use as a night light as well as being a lamp um, on their desk or something like that or sitting on their bedside table. So it's a great bedside reading lamp if you wanted something like that that you could have a nice glow in the background and then use it for a reading lamp, but you could really use this in any room in your house. I'm thinking about using this um, in my living room actually in a corner where we really don't have a whole lot of light but we can turn this on when we're in there and then just have kind of a little glow in the evening when we're not in there with the base here so you can just use this for a lot of different purposes it has really nice touch screen buttons down here um, that are very nice and you've got your simple little plug comes with everything that you need uh, it's really bright it's flexible this is definitely a larger desk lamp um, than some of the smaller versions of something like this that you can get and i love uh, the color changing base and that they are separately controlled and they can just have a nice glow down there if you like when you're not using your lamp so i think that the design on this is pretty cool and i personally really like it um, for different places in my house and it's kind of been bouncing around a little bit it's definitely portable enough that you can move from room to room quite easily so i've been trying it in different places and uh, feeling like okay this is a good idea to use as um, a desk lamp in your room or use on your bedside table as a reading lamp or really just anywhere. So it's got a great design. It's definitely flexible and where you move it, it stays. Like it doesn't go here and then, you know, it's not so heavy that it droops and things like that. Um, it's solidly built. It's got a nice weight to it, uh, but this neck here is really thick and flexible and strong. Um, so you can just pose it any way that you want, get the best angle that you want with this one. And I'm definitely pleased with it. Um, I love the different color options and I love how you can use both lights at the same time. So it's just well built and, and nicely made and would make a great desk lamp, bedside table lamp, or just you know lamp on any table in any room really. So this is just versatile for how you can use it and it can be used and moved around in your house as much as you want. It's kind of fun for kids if you were to put this in one of your children's rooms. Um, that they can choose all the colors that they want. I know that my kids like to 
change, you know, choose a rainbow color and be able to change it any time that they want. So that's kind of fun. Um, and then you can kind of go a more neutral, like yellow glow on this. If you don't want the multicolors, you can set it to, let's say that you kind of liked a more neutral color, or there's some that when you're even going into the blue spectrum where that gets really light, or you can choose like a yellow or something that looks more neutral if you didn't want a bright, bright color on here. So you really have any option that you want. There's no plain white light at the base here, which I wish that there was an easy accessible um, plain white light if you didn't want any kind of colors that you just could have a white glow coming from the base as well. Uh, but you do have a lot of options and you can go more neutral, like I said. It doesn't have to be bright red, bright, bright green, bright purple, bright blue. Um, you can kind of find as you're moving around in there something that's a little bit more neutral and in between. So that's your closer look at this lamp and I really like it. I think that it's nicely made. And I love I love these lamps that are just flexible like this and you can use in different ways. So hopefully this has been helpful for you if you're looking at this product to see exactly what you're getting. And I just love the design on this one.